Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today in this video, I'm going to be joined by Carolyn, James's sister. Yeah. <laughs> she came down from Florida, so we're going to record my candy club video because. Because I love candy. Yes, obviously. <laughs> Who doesn't love candy? Unless people don't like candy, but those people are sad. <laughs> And so I got a lot of good feedback on my last candy club, so I was going to do another one and I was going to have my sister join me. So we're going to go ahead and start with our first candy, which is Albanese Sour Gummy Poppers. As you can see, they're very colorful. Wait, what are the flavors? The flavors are blue raspberry, lemon, orange, strawberry, and green apple. Oh my goodness, that's a lot that of flavors. Good though. I got, okay, I got it. Open. These things are really hard to open. The packaging is cool though. Yeah. Like I feel like, no offense to any grandmas watching, but every grandma has the you know the candy dishes, and these are perfect for every candy loving. Grandma. Yeah. You open it right here, and it's really hard. Oh. oh okay. well, last one. If you it watched was back. Really hard. If you watched back in my last video, I got scissors and I was trying to pry it off, and then it flew off and went under my bed, and I don't even Blue know what. Yeah, I was gonna do a bigger one, but there wasn't enough bloopers to do it. We're gonna do blue first. Okay. They're definitely more sour than I thought they would be. Like, you wanna try orange? Yes, do orange. I wanna try orange. Oh my goodness, orange this is This really is good. good. Okay, now which one are we doing? Let's do lemon. These are addictive. I feel like I could eat this whole jar. I know I could. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh. That was tart. <laughs> so, what do you think about it? Um. It's good. It's not too sour, but it's more sour than sweet. Mm hmm. But. If you're not wanting to get the subscription box, I feel like you could go out and get the trolley sour gummy worms and it would just be almost the same so is it worth the extra money who knows the thing is and it, ha it has like a real it's not like I expected it to be kind of like the hard like you know sour gu some some sour gummy worms are really hard right those are really like chewy, chewy. they are really soft they are really chewy and soft they're, yeah they're I like it because it's not too sour I like sour stuff but like my last video, those sour wild cherry belts that I had, they were really sour. <laughs> now that isn't as sour. I mean, it is, it's not as sour as the wild cherry belts. They are sour and I really like them. I, I could just take that jar and just go eat it right now. But I'm not going to. <laughs> not yet, not till the video. So <laughs> what would you rate this candy? Um, probably a six out of 10. I, I'm really close. I pick a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. So, what are these called? The sour, sour gummy. gummy poppers. 6.5 out of 10. Awesome. Okay, so the next candy we're going to do is the Sour Patch Cherry. Oh boy. So, this is the Sour pa uh, sour Cherry. I don't It's Sour Patch. made by Sour Patch, but it's Cherry. It just says Cherry. It doesn't say anything else but Cherry. <laughs> so, now we're going to eat these. You want to try to get it off? I had it last time. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> there we go. First. Okay. That's really good. They're a lot different than the last, last one. Uh -huh. I feel like Sour Patch <clears throat> always does good with their candy, so because mm -hmm. they have the watermelons. And those are good. Oh, I love and those I have the cherries. The cherries are pretty good. They are not to be rude to Sour Patch. I hate Sour Patch Kids a lot. These are, they're not my thing, but they are really good. It's, it's a, for some reason it tastes a little bit different. Maybe it's just cause I, when I eat Sour Patch Kids, I have a million different flavors. Right. Cherry's really good. I agree, I agree. But would I rate this candy? Probably a seven and a half out of 10 because you can always eat Sour Patch and know that it's Sour Patch. Like it's got a very, they're very Stingous. consistent with their flavors. And texture. And texture, yeah, the textures. So yeah. my rating would probably be around a six. 
It's not necessarily my thing, but they are a lot better than Sour Patch Kids to me. The next candy we are going to do is Gimbal's Orange and Cream Soft Chews. <laughs> I am so excited for this. Orange and Cream, Orange Cream Anything has been a favorite in our family for ever since our grandma was little. So this is a big deal for us. Yeah, this is I have, literally, this is the one, like, when I first got on Candy Club and I looked at all the different candies, this is the one I wanted so bad, more show than them, any other one. I did. Show them a single one to look at oh. now. Perfect. That's aesthetically pleasing, like, it's perfectly creamy and soft and round. Yeah, it has a nice color to it, and, like, it's not, like, it doesn't look artificial. Right, right. You gonna try it? Yeah. Here you go. What's that face for? It's such a weird texture. I feel like I just put a piece of bubble gum in my mouth. I love the flavor. The texture is a little bit... A little bit iffy. It's like if you take an orange slice mm -hmm. and mix it with bubble gum. <laughs> it's stuck in my teeth. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Because they're not like... You know the um, strawberries and cream candies? Like the Lifesavers? It's like... Kind of like that, but not because the texture kind of rubbery. It kind of reminds me of a gummy and a circus peanut combined. Yep, that's a perfect way. Orange cream flavored. A orange cream flavored gummy and circus, circus peanut, peanut combined. Baby. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. So what would you rate it? The flavor, I would give it like a nine because I love the yep. flavor, but the texture is just it, the te texture kind of like. So, I would probably give it about a five. Uh, five out of ten for the orange and cream soft chews. I will probably still eat these, but just the texture is just kind of. If anybody can figure out a way to make an orange cream soft chew that's even softer than this soft chew, call us. We'd yeah, like hit us up. We, we, we need, we'll make something we need. We'll, we'll figure so it out. The next thing we're going to try is actually something that's actually not on here for some reason. It's just a, like a throw-in. Yeah, it was just a throw-in. And it's Jones Carbonated Candy Naturally Flavored Crushed Melon. So Crushed Melon Jones Carbonated Candy. That's a mouthful, literally. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know what this is. I'm assuming it's just like... You know, they have those fizzy candies that makes you fizzy. Oh, yeah. I think. I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, well, if but it's I'm like that, then this, hopefully it'll be good. I'm gonna uh -oh. one. These look like the Altoids. Can y'all see that? The Altoids? Y'all know what I'm talking about? Looks like Altoid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you see? That's a big no for me. <laughs> that's a one of ten for me. Eve, ha, uh, no, that's, that's a no for me. That took. That was like the most anticlimactic thing I've ever put in my mouth. Okay, so let's let me let me break this down. Let me let me give you like a mental play by play of what just went on in my head. I put it in my mouth and I was like, okay, something happened, nothing happened. The flavor wasn't very strong. Then you bit into it. And then I bit into it thinking that something was gonna happen. And it was like I just ate like a 10 year old piece of Pez candy. <laughs> yes, that's exactly. Yeah, yeah. Pez. Oh my oh, goodness. Pez. And the flavor, the aftertaste is horrible. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> so if your kids or you ever come across these, Stay away from them because it's don't, a big don't mistake. Them. No, it, yeah, it's a big mistake. <laughs> the last thing I gotta try. Can I go brush my teeth real quick? No, you go. You have to wait. So the last thing we're gonna try is Primrose Assorted Top. There are chocolate, vanilla, butter, rum, maple, and raspberry. We got a green one. So let's try this one for just half them. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> I'm ready to be crushed out on candy. One, two, three. Kind of like an arm schedule. Yeah. We're gonna try the maple one now. Uh, <laughs> 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 
really good. I really like it. It's a lot softer than Tootsie Rolls. Yeah. But it reminds me of Tootsie Rolls. Now see, if this would have had the texture of these, it would have been it would have been great, I think. So if anybody's watching that does the primrose assorted toffees, do orange cream one, okay? We'll buy a whole gross of them. Yes, we will. <laughs> well, let's do this butter rum, because that's going to be interesting. I'm scared because I don't like rum. When have you ever had rum? It tastes like fruitcake. Oh, just saw it, just saw it. Well, towards the end there, it was like someone had put rubbing alcohol in my mouth. Yes, that's exactly what it. Okay, I don't necessarily like the rum flavoring or just rum pairing it because it's nasty and it burns your throat. So I'm just, I don't really like that one. The textures of them are still really good to me though. Maybe we should make a coffee one. Oh my goodness. That would be good. Yes! Yeah, coffee candy. I wish that coffee you could get a box of just coffee mocha candies. Oh my goodness. Try raspberry! <laughs> Look at all that. Didn't look how you thought it would, did it? I expected all these to be like the, the color. color the, yeah. Which I guess is a good thing because it means it doesn't, they don't use like Artificial, fake color. Yeah. yeah. That's definitely the best one. I love raspberry. Mm -hmm. well, okay. It says Primrose will take you down on a street, sweet retreat down memory lane. That's what it says right there. Well, I mean, you've only been alive for 15 years, so... Do you have any memories to go with that or no? No. No. Me either. I'm gonna remember to stay away from those Jones candies, though. <laughs> Yes! Carbonated. That was bizarre. I didn't that was not. Credit. What was your favorite flavor out of all of them? Out of all those? The raspberry. The raspberry was my favorite too. It reminds me so much of a muffin and but I love muffins. the chocolate, muffins. I think the chocolate had the most flavor. Flavor, yeah. Because yeah, everything it, else was really fake. Yeah, it stuck out. So, uh, what would you rate those? Mm, five out of ten, because it's a, it's a hit or miss. You know, they were either really good or they weren't really good. Yeah, that's so true. Gonna, so I probably, I probably go with about a six. Because I, I loved the flavors that I liked were really good, but like and the textures were amazing. They weren't like they they were like tootsie rolls, but they had a very more chewy, creamy feel to them. Tootsie rolls were really hard and stuff. So I liked them a lot. The flavors that actually had flavor were really good. Okay. So, so that was fun. That was really fun. I was that glad was to good. have you in uh, my video. I was glad to be in it with you. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure you subscribe to... What's your channel name? <laughs> <laughs> my channel name is James Michael. And they can just go go in yeah. down below. Subscribe. Be sure to subscribe, like it up. Like, like it, it up. Put it on Facebook. Tell your mom. Tell her friends. Tell your cousins. Tell your cousins. <laughs> tell your neighbors. Tell your neighbors. Tell everyone you tell know. Tell everyone you know. <laughs> the James Michael. <laughs> so guys, be sure to please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe. All my Twitter, Instagram links, all of them will be in the description. I will leave her Instagram and Twitter links and everything in the description. So be sure to go follow her and stuff. So other than that, guys, have an amazing day and live life like a party! Woo!